Okay, I had to start this uh, live video over because I was playing a song by Mary J. Blige in the background and Facebook is real funny about that. So I had to restart it. But hold on for one second because I have to kind of, I have to make sure that this is being live and on my business Facebook page as well. So give me one second and I'll be right back. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I'm back. <laughs> and that gave enough, I gave some a time for some more people to come on to the live. So great. Hey, Kai, how you doing? Okay, so I'm LaShawn with Woman of Unk Retreat Sanctuary. And I am a holistic, I'm a certified holistic health practitioner. But under that umbrella, I have several different certifications. And one of them is, is I am a Reiki practitioner. And what a Reiki practitioner does, they work with your energy body. And the information that I'll be sharing with you this evening has to do with your energy body. We have a physical body and we have an energy body. And our chakras lie within our energy body. So that's what we'll be, that's what I'll be discussing this evening. I'm giving you more information on the first three chakras in this live, and next week I'll do the upper chakras. <clears throat> so I'm going to talk about what the chakras are, what they correspond with in, as far as your body is concerned, and how you can help to balance them out. Uh, so that's, that's what I'll be talking about this evening. And at the end, I'm going to do a little demonstration with singing bowls because singing bowls is actually a way that you can uh, balance your chakras. You can use music to balance your chakras. So I'll talk about that a little bit as well. Something else you can use is crystals. If you're familiar with crystals, you can use uh, crystals as well. So we're going to go ahead on and get started. Again, just to introduce myself to maybe if someone is on the live that is not that doesn't know me or isn't familiar with me. My name is LaShawn and I'm the owner of Woman of Uncle Retreat Sanctuary. I am the queen of Release That Ish. <laughs> I'm a certified holistic health practitioner and under that umbrella I am a Reiki practitioner and a Reiki practitioner is someone that works with your energy body. Okay, so we're going to go ahead on and get started. The first chakra we're going to talk about is your root chakra. Your root chakra is going to be at the base of your spine. You know, looking at this um, this wall hanging that I have, it kind of looks like it's be uh, in between your legs. And it sort of kind of is. But think of this as your spine. not But it's, face, it's facing forward. But think of this as your spine because that's where your chakras are located along your spine or your spinal column. And what chakras are, they are energy vortexes within your body. Um, it's a Sanskrit word. It actually means energy will. And in a sense, they kind of spin is what they do. So we have the base chakra or the root chakra. So the root chakra has to do with how you feel about your living situation, do you feel secure? Are you always um, worried that you're not going to get your next meal? Are you worried about if you're going to get evicted out of your home, foreclosed on your home? Uh, it all has to do with security is what your root chakra has, has to do with. Are you feeling grounded? Are you feeling like you are actually here? That's where your root chakra comes into play at. Um, now, when it comes to what parts of your body is affected by your root chakra? Um, we're talking about the base of your spine, your legs, your bones, your feet, um, your rectum, your immune system, your large intestine, and your teeth. So when your root chakra 
is out of balance, those things can be affected by your root chakra being out of balance. And some common um, dysfunctions could be chronic lower back pain, sciatica, varicose veins, rectal, uh, rectal tumors, cancer, hemorrhoids, constipation, degenerative arthritis, knee problems, depression, immune-related disorders, and weight problems. So when you start to think about all the things that I just named, all of that can lie here within your root chakra if you're having those types of uh, dysfunction in your body. I kind of want to rewind a little bit because um, some of the things that I just named has to do with your physical body, your bones, your rectum, um, your, um, you know, having your weight problems, knee problems, um, degenerative arthritis and different things like that, that has to do with your physical body. And I know a lot of you probably have already heard this before. Sometimes when we're experiencing things in our physical body, first it starts in our spiritual body or our energy body. Um, so when, I, when things are happening within our energy body, it presents itself physically. But when it starts to present itself physically, it's gotten to the point to where I don't want to say it's gotten out of hand because you can always reel things back in, but it's gotten to the point that it's showing itself. It's That's like your energy body saying, hey, look at me. I need some care. So like say in the instance of your root chakra, you're, you know, maybe you're going from job to job. You don't have any job security. Maybe you've been living from place to place and different things like that. And at the same time, within your body, you notice that, hey, my back is hurting all the time. Maybe you're getting hemorrhoids. Maybe your, your bones and your joints are aching. Um, that's, that's your body's way of saying, hey, look at me. I need some care at that, at that point. But hopefully you start getting those signals before you actually start having the problems. Maybe you start having stiffness in your joints before you actually develop arthritis all the way. And then you start to say, hey, what's going on with me? Let me take a closer look at what could be happening to me, not just in my physical body, but what's going on spiritually as well. And then that's when you start you know, going and diving a little bit deeper. A Reiki practitioner is a person that can actually help and assist with those types of things. When you go see a Reiki practitioner, um, they'll check to see which one of your chakras are out, or out of alignment, and then they'll give you some information on different things that you could do to help bring them back into, well, first of all, they can actually help with getting those back into alignment for, with you, and then they'll give you some tools that you could do to keep them in better alignment. But it's still going to have a lot to do with what you do in your physical day-to-day -day life. Your energy body is what animates you. Your physical body is how we get around on a day-to-day a -day basis. But when things are happening to us spiritually, our physical body is what takes the brunt of everything. Your physical body is what breaks down when spiritually behind the scenes, you have different things going on. Um, in a sense, it's almost like you're getting holes in your energy body and then physically you start having these issues and problems that start to present themselves. A Reiki practitioner or energy healer is a person that can help you help and assist to kind of close those th those holes back up for you. Um, a Reiki practitioner or someone that's a metaphysician can do that. So it's just like you have a doctor for your physical body. We should also have a metaphysician as well. That's a person that would take care of our energy body, uh, a metaphysician. Or a Reiki practitioner is who you could um, rely on for the, that type of work to be done. Um, something else with your root chakra, um, emotionally, you could have issues with probably standing up for yourself. You might always be fretful, not just for yourself, but for your family as well, because you're just not feeling safe and secure. So how do you actually 
get safe and secure, <laughs> it has to do with making changes within your physical world. Um, when you go see a Reiki practitioner or a metaphysician, there's different things that they can do to help actually, you know, make that energy within your body um, radiate, radiate on, on, a, on a higher level. So that is your root chakra. And with the root chakra, using different tools that can that can help to bring it into alignment. Um, you do not have to go see a Reiki practitioner or metaphysician. There's things that you can do on your own. And that's one of the reasons why I brought the singing bowls out. You can buy some singing bowls. You can go on YouTube. There's things called binaural tones that you can play to help bring your chakras in alignment. Um, let me get my little... There's, um, you know, there's different things that you can do on your own to help bring your chakras into alignment. So the D, I'm sorry, the C note is associated with the base chakra. And I'm just going to play it a little bit. Oh. I don't have it sitting on here right, so let me switch this around because I don't want it to vibrate like that. better but you hear how deep that is and you might can even feel it vibrating within your body right now I definitely can but if you was here this C note would actually bring a sense of calm over your body you would be able to sit in it and you would just be like feel relaxed it would kind of be like a woosah moment for you with this plan. So you can get your own set of singing bowls and you can play those on a regular basis to assist you with uh, balancing your chakras. Crystals. When it comes to crystals that are good for your, your base chakra, we have black obsidian. And I also have a jasper crystal here as well. Different crystals have different uh, properties to them, but these two are for grounding. So they're really good for your base chakra. How do you use them? You can lay it over your base chakra and just lay there and um, let the energy from this crystal uh, illuminate your base chakra. You can carry this around in your pocket all the time or maybe on your belly or somewhere like that because that's going to help to get the energy to that that chakra as well. So you can use crystals, you can use music, or you can go see a metaphysician or a Reiki practitioner, and there's different things that they, they would do as well. Um, for me, when I do uh, energy healing, I do like to use the singing bowls. I do like to use crystals, but I like to, I love to channel energy. And when I channel energy, I actually connect with your chakra system and I run energy through your body is what I do. And you'll actually be able to feel it. Sometimes it feels like little vibrations or something like that. And then I direct the energy to your different chakras based upon my findings when I first start your examination to see which one of your chakras of, are out of alignment. Okay, so let's travel on up a little bit more to our sacral chakra. One of my favorites. <laughs> the reason why this is my favorite chakra is because this is where the womb lies, baby. So whenever you come to Woman of Unk Retreat Sanctuary, a lot of things that happens here are all about helping to balance out this chakra from the colors that's decorated in the different in the rooms um, anything that's going to be orange that's going to be something that's going to correlate with your sacral chakra um, the food that I might give you if something is going to be orange because that's going to help with balancing out this sacral chakra uh, the sacral chakra as well um, but everything is going to be geared toward balancing out this chakra. So we already know this is where the womb lies. <laughs> so just to give you a little bit, some more information about that, the sacral chakra has to do with sexuality and it has to do with reproduction, but it has to do with your emotions and your creativity. That's something I always like to go in 
to with whenever um, I have women that are coming in for yoni steams or when I do um, womb reiki, uh, the, the emotions and your creativity. So when this sh uh, chakra is blocked, you're going to have issues with your creativity. You're going to have issues with manifestation. And most importantly, it's probably going to mean that you're not expressing your emotions. So everything is just getting bind and it's going to be sitting right here in this most sacred space. And when that happens for women, we get fibroids, endometriosis, um, Maybe we get cysts on our on our ovaries. Maybe we have fertility issues. For men, they have impotent. They're impotent. They can't. You know, there's going to be different things that's that's going on physically. So remember, when this this chakra is blocked, it's going to present itself physically with the fibroids, the endometriosis, with the sexual dysfunctions. Um, your creativity levels are going to be um, at a low. Your emotion, you're not going to be expressing your emotions when this chakra is blocked. So those things that could be happening phys physically. Another thing that could be happening is you'll have like lower back pain, not just the GYN problems, uterine problem, uterine problems, bladder problems, kidney problems, and then pain in your pelvic area. So, as you can see, it sits right here in the pelvic region. So, anything that's around this area can be affected physically. And to give you a, a picture of where this chakra is located, wherever your belly button is, about two inches down is where your sacral chakra is going to, uh, to be at, about two, about two inches down from there. And to give you a... A visual of where your base chakra is at. If you're looking at your spine, it's going to be right there, um, like at your tailbone, somewhere in that in that area. So we got the base chakra that's over your um, security. We have your sacral chakra, the womb chakra that's all about your creativity, your emotions, and when not expressed properly, physically it manifests. And GYN problems, lower black problems, and for men, um, it has to do with their their potency. <laughs> you know, so that's why this chakra is so important, and we want to keep it balanced. Um, that's the sacral chakra, and it tunes to the D note. Oh, <laughs> it's in my hand, and it tunes to the D note. And if you've been here, you've heard me play this, but this is the D note. As you can tell, it's a lower sound as well. And here's the root chakra. to the solar plexus. The solar plexus um, corresponds with the E note. And as you can see, it has a yellow color. So wearing yellow can actually assist with, oh, I'm sorry. Let me go back to the sacral chakra. I have these all around woman of Ankh, and this is a carnelian crystal. Carnelian is the womb stone. This is one of my favorite crystals. When I do Reiki, it is some it is it is a crystal that I always use because it's going to emit that energy to help to balance out that uh, sacral chakra. So we have this uh, carnelian for the womb area, and then I had brought out the obsidian and the red jasper for the base chakra or the root chakra. And for the solar plexus, I have a citrine. I love citrine. That's one of my favorite. That's another one of my favorite crystals as well. So the the solar plexus has to do with your personality, your self esteem, your confidence, your sense of self worth, your sense of who you are, how you let people treat you. This is all has to do with um, your solar plexus. Um, 
your solar plexus. The physical body parts that it can affect is your abdomen, your stomach, your upper intestine, your liver, gallbladder, spleen, your middle spine. Um, for mental and emotional um, triggers with this, it, uh, that has to do with trust, fear, uh, intimidation, uh, your self-esteem, self-confidence, self-respect, self-care, responsibility for making decisions, um, how sensitive you are to criticism and your personal honor. These two are cousins to each other. This is how you express your emotions. This is how you feel about yourself mentally. So when you're having a lot of negative self-talk, believe it, your solar plexus chakra is out of alignment. Um, it's out of balance and it, there needs to be some work done to help to bring that in. And one of the things that I like for the solar plexus is actually um, is words of affirmation or making your own affirmations that's going to help to uplift your self-esteem, your self-worth, um, setting boundaries, um, you know, different things like that can help to uh, balance this sacral chakra out. That's something that you can do yourself. But again, if you visit a Reiki practitioner or a metaphysician, um, using sing singing bowls and crystals, the bowl for the solar plexus is the E note. And as you can tell, it's getting a little bit higher. That's the D note for the sacral chakra. If we go back to the solar plexus, now if we go back to the root chakra, hear how deep that is. if they're playing all of them that's called a sound bath and if you lie down and you relax and you just so do some deep breathing it's very relaxing it makes you feel so good and afterwards your energy has shifted it has changed you it, it'll make you feel phenomenal um Within the retreats now, I've started doing uh, sound baths while the women are on the yoni pots uh, and, and it, because it's just a great opportunity to balance out those chakras and have them to leave feeling amazing at that point. So again, this is your solar plexus chakra and the E note. It was is, is what will help to balance that out. Now, some of the things that when your solar plexus solar plexus chakra is out of alignment, you can have things like arthritis, uh, gastric issues, ulcers, uh, colon problems, issues with your pancreas, diabetes, hepatitis, bulimia, anorexia, liver disorders, and adrenal dysfunction. So as you can see, your energy body is connected to organ systems within your physical body. You have all your, you know, especially when it comes to the womb area, that has to do with everything that's reproductive. And here, some very important organs here um, with your, you know, your spleens, the abdominal cavity, you have your small intestines in this area. So just think about it. If you go so long with your solar plexus being unbalanced, you start having these issues in your abdominal region. So that's why it's important for you to have a doctor for your physical body and you wanna have a practitioner for your energy body because you wanna keep that in alignment as well, okay? So in this live, I'm only gonna talk about the first three chakras and next week I will do the, uh, the uh, upper four and this is the heart chakra. Your heart chakra has to do with the way that you love and receive love. And just to kind of give you a little bit of more information about that, 
this has to do with your cardiovascular system. So if you're a person that um, is having high cholesterol and um, high cholesterol, heart issues, that's your heart chakra, more than likely. It's going to, well, it's going to be out of alignment if you're having those types of issues. Because physically, your heart, your root chakra could be out of alignment and you're doing all this um, low vibrational eating. And that's going to cause that heart chakra to be out of alignment as well because of the things that you're eating and putting in your body. And it's going to clog your physical body, but also your energy body at the same time. We have the throat chakra. The throat chakra has to do with the way that you express yourself. Um, are you speaking your truth? Are you holding things in? Are you a liar? You know, there's different things that can affect your throat chakra being in alignment. We have our intuition, our third eye chakra, our spiritual sight. And then we have the crown chakra. The crown chakra is your God connectedness is what the, your crown has to do with. So next week, I will talk about the upper three chakras. This evening, we did the first three. And to kind of give you a recap on that. I got my little notes because I don't want to pick anything. <laughs> to give you a recap, we have the base chakra or the root chakra. That has to do with the way you feel about your living situation, your security. Um, are you, um, you know, just feeling safe and secure for yourself and your family as well? Are you living house to house or do you have somewhere stable to live? Are you job hop hopping all the time or do you um, have a stable job? Is mo your money flowing? Then we have our womb chakra. Again, one of my, my favorites because that's the work that I do is the, uh, working with the sacral chakra. That has to do, though, with your emotions and your creativity. When this is blocked, everything everything can, can be out of whack. So we want to always keep this uh, chakra really in great alignment. And again, this has to do with what's happening with your reproductive and your sexual health. And for men, whether or not they're, they're, they're impotent or not, that's all lamp lying right here at the sacral chakra. And then our solar plexus has to do with the way that we feel about ourselves, what we think about ourselves, um, how we let other people treat us as well. So there's different things that you can do to bring these in alignment yourself. Or, again, you can seek out a Reiki practitioner or a metaphysician. It's always good to have a team. You want to have a doctor for your physical body, but at the same time, you know, you want to start to take care of things on a spiritual level as well. Uh, you want to take care of your energy. You want to take care of who you're around and who you let be around you. I don't let everybody give me a hug. I let no one touch my hair except for my um, my hairdresser. That's it. My, my, my uh, sister lot consultant. Once a person, once a person passes like your arm length, they they are already in your energy field. But once they're really past your your arm, they are all up in your energy field. And if they're carrying around a whole lot of negativity, that can get off. That that really can rub off on you. Just like they say, misery loves company. That has to do with energy that's being transferred. The other thing you have to do is protect your energy as well from people who will suck up, or they call them energy vampires. People who call you up and what they want to do is, you know, lo unload all their problems on you, tell you about all their problems, their woe is me, and then you try to uplift them and give them positive words of encouragement, what they're doing is they're just pulling energy away from you. They feel better, but when you hang up the phone, you're not going to feel as good as you felt when you first started talking to them. So you have to be careful of the conversations that you have as well. You want to keep them high vibrational and not low vibrational because what happens is you start to get all of your chakras out of alignment. They start to not be functioning, you know, properly or spinning properly the way that they can. And when that starts to happen, you start to get physical ailments. So be careful of who you let into your energy. Okay. So does anyone have any questions? I'm going to look here at, I don't see anything coming up right now. 
but you got to be careful of who you are. Be careful of who you let in your energy field. I don't see any questions right now, but <clears throat> if you have any questions, just put them in the chat. I will answer them. And if you like the information that I brought to you this evening, you can always send me a love offering to my cash app at Goddess Energy. What is it? The dollar sign, Goddess, G-O-D-D-E-S-S, -S -S, Energy. You can do that. Whatever you want to, you know, send a sister would be greatly appreciated. Next week, I will be talking about the higher chakras. And if I can, I'm going to put my singing bowls back over here and I'm going to do a little bit of a sound bath for you just to you know give you a taste of that so wherever you're at right now if you can just sit quietly or maybe even lie down I'm going to give you a little sound bath okay so I'm going to put these back over here because this table is not stable and they don't vibrate properly Okay, so let me turn the camera around. Okay, yeah. So, as you can see, I have the whole set. <laughs> so, we have the root chakra. We have the sacral chakra, solar plexus. I have the bowl for the heart, the throat, the third eye chakra, and we have the crown chakra. So, what I'm going to do is... Today, we, we worked with these three, so we're going to, you know, do some, see, it sounds totally different because this table is stable. You hear how that sound just vibrates and how it just carries?
It just stopped. So, hmm. That's always good for me. Clients love it. And at the same time that they're getting healing, I get some healing as well by playing those bowls. Um, another way that you can balance out your chakras as well, you saw that each chakra correlates with the color. So let's just say if you found out your base chakra was out of alignment, wear red. Today I have on blue. I wore blue on purpose because blue resonates with my throat chakra. I wanted to be able to stick, uh, speak clearly. I wanted to be able to um, get my thoughts out. That's where the white comes at in it because that correlates with my crown chakra with my god my god consciousness so you know you can you can balance yourself just through color the singing bowls uh working with a practitioner using uh using crystals but also with the foods that you eat as well and anything green and leafy is going to assist with your uh your heart chakra your yellow fruits and vegetables is going to help with that solar plexus. And then uh, the orange is going to assist with your, your womb chakra. So there's several different ways that you can balance out your chakras. So remember that chakras is part of your energy body, your spiritual body. And when your chakras are out of alignment, it presents itself in physical ways as far as having different conditions that's outwardly that's coming out um, as far as like the diabetes or um, different things that's going on with your um, your womb space reproductive issues sexual dysfunction um, how you're living you know feeling about your living situation your security you know all those different types of things you know could be a a a physical representation of what's going on with you spiritually. So take care of your spiritual body and your physical body as well. Um, when we have holes in our energy body, it presents itself in physical ways. So, you know, just keep that in mind and just keep that in mind. But I'm feeling really good right now because of the singing bowl. <laughs> so I didn't kind of, I didn't, I didn't got off track a little bit, but it was, um, you know, Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening because I just want to bask in uh, the notes. Uh, I'm, I'm really feeling them. You're not here in person, so I really don't know how it sound on that side uh, to you. But here in person, it really resonated within my body. Um, at the next retreat coming up, uh, it's next week. It's next week, Saturday. It is a, I'm having another retreat and during that retreat, I will be doing a sound bath while all the ladies are on the Yoni Pots. Um, right now there is five, um, there's five spaces that still left in that retreat. Um, it's only $99 uh, this time. So take advantage of that because um, it won't be $99 again. And the reason why I'm saying that because the $99 was a mistake. And once I put it out there, I couldn't take it back. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you, Kizzy. So it did sound really good. Okay, good. Thank you, Brunette. Okay, it was powerful. Thank you, uh, Kaye. Thank you. Somebody wrote something long. Let me see if I can go back and see that. Okay, Brunette. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Um, th thank you. With uh, thank you for all of that. Um, hey, Rhonda, how you doing? I'm glad everyone was able to tune in for this. Um, next week, I'll be talking about the uh, higher chakras and the same thing, how to bring them into alignment, what they affect and, you know, how do they present themselves physically. So that way you will know, you'll know what's going on with you. But what I want to say is if you're, if you need some help to get started with balancing your chakras and keeping them in alignment, please schedule a uh, Reiki uh, session with me and I will, you know, go over all your chakras, see if they're in alignment, if they're not in alignment, get them in alignment before you leave, give you some tips and tools that's going to assist you in keeping them that way. Um, you know, reach out to me. You can go to the website at womanofunk.com. <laughs> womanofunk.com and you can uh, uh, sign up for a Reiki session. Better yet, you can, you know, participate in the upcoming 
uh, retreat because I will be doing a sound bath on that day. There will be high vibrational food. All the elements that's needed to help to start helping to bring those uh, chakras into alignment. I'll be doing those things um, within the retreat. I won't be doing a Reiki session, but definitely the sound bath, definitely the high vibrational food. And when you leave here, you are going to leave feeling higher than when you came in here. There, there will be some healing. There will be some steps along into feeling like the greatest version of yourself. So hope you take advantage of this retreat. Who said they just missed it? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that you, you missed. Oh, but you know what? You can always go back and um, look at the beginning of the video. And then that way you can look at... Um, you know, you can see the, you can see the entire sound bath. And I only did about two to three minutes of the sound bath. Uh, next week when I do it, I might do maybe about five minutes or so. But there's nothing like coming and actually having that performed in person. If you love this information, you know, shout out to me and tell me that you loved it. Better yet, you can send me a love offering to my cash app at Goddess Energy, G-O-D-D-E-S-S -S Energy. Um, LaShawn Tabo, T-E-B-O-H. Um, you can, you know, give me a love offering. That would be greatly appreciated. And until next week, I want to thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate you for tuning in. It makes it easier when I present the information when someone is here watching. <laughs> okay. So until next week, have an amazing Wednesday. Thank you.